We have Michael Hunger at JDD. Uh, for the past few years, he's been working with Neo Technology uh, on the Neo4j um, graph database. Lead of Spring Data um, Neo4j and now takes care of all aspects of Neo4j developer community, right? Yeah, that's right. Hello there. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, so how do you like the JDD conference? Oh, it's a really cool conference. So you really feel that it's made with a lot of love and enthusiasm and lots of cool stuff. So good organization, but also lots of gimmicks and, and, and fun stuff around the conference and good, good program too. It's great to, see, to hear that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's very really cool. Uh, in your session, you were uh, talking about um, analyzing source with Neo4j. So uh, what is this tool? What is it for? So Neo4j in itself is a, is a graph database. That means it's a database that's made for storing and querying connected data. So everywhere in the world you have connected information. There's no, no, no such thing as isolated information. And most databases are not really good at handling these rich connections. And Neo4j was actually built for handling connected data really, really fast. And uh, so what I talked about is actually that you can use um, a simple source code, code scanner to import the structure of your code into this graph database. So you have classes, types, uh, interfaces, inheritance, composition, fields, methods, and all the stuff in the in, in database. And then you can start to query that. So you kind of specify really simple graph patterns with our query language, Cypher. And then you can query the graph, for instance, you can find out uh, code smells or software metrics, or you can enhance the graph with concepts and constraints and integrate uh, the whole thing into your build process, for instance. So that's one of the many um, uses of a, of a graph database, but which is really cool for developers because they can quickly get some value out of it. And it's not such a risky uh, um, test kind of on how a graph database works. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, yesterday, um, you, were t you were at the hackathon. Um, maybe you can say something more about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So Yarek uh, organized a hackathon um, at uh, Smart Recruiters, and um, the idea was to give the attendees a really tough challenge. And the tough challenge was to implement an SCM and version control system using the graph database. And we had a lot of fun, so a lot of good discussions. Uh, uh, the prices were also good. Uh, for instance, tickets to next year's JDD. And uh, so people learned a lot. So I did an intro to Neo4j and, and graph databases, and. Um, from there, they just get, got along coding and had a lot of fun, mm -hmm. and we, it ended like almost midnight or even later. Yeah, so I it was, it. <laughs> it was really, really good. So how would you rate JDD? How, uh, what are the parts that you like the most on the conference? I think the, uh, that you really feel that it's made with love. So there's a lot of energy and, and love put into the organization and conference, lots of small details that make it really special and unusual. It's not kind of the, like the traditional bigger conferences where you kind of, they are kind of just organized like an, an enterprise more or less. And here you still feel that the, it's kind of by developers for developers. And, and that's what I really like, the spirit. And of course, um, as with many conferences, the uh, possibility to talk to the attendees and the other speakers, and mm -hmm. so they have the many opportunities to uh, talk, and that you ex uh, created extra room uh, in the breaks and the quarter meal uh, to have opportunities to exchange ideas, and that is really cool. Okay, so uh, you have met other um, speakers, and you have seen our schedule. So, uh, who would you recommend our conference to? To, to which kind of other speakers or to it? To what kind of attendees? I think uh, the attendees should be developers that are interested in learning something new and just also looking beyond what they already know and beyond their current horizon to try out new things to see uh, what other people are doing, how you can approach certain problems def differently. So everyone who's interested in kind of going beyond what he knows or she knows right now, beyond their comfort zone and wants to kind of get something new, they should come to JDD. Yeah. And I hope you will be with us next year. Hopefully, it, it's possible that it works out. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, our guest was Michael Hunger at JDD. Thank you very much. Thank you.